The complete report is out surrounding the investigation on what exactly happened the night Officer Jason Mosier was shot and killed. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Valley News Team's investigative reporter Ashley Bishop has been paging through this lengthy report. She joins us now with the details. Ashley? Mike, Andrea, the report is very large, as you can see it right here. It has 155 documents, each with multiple pages. Many of the documents contain officer accounts of their roles during the standoff, like the, like the officer that drove the Bearcat to go in and rescue Officer Moser after he was shot. The documents also contain interviews with neighbors and those that saw Officer Moser get shot. Their accounts help put together a better timeline of the incident. The report says that Marcus, Marcus Schumacher and his wife started fighting about 5 p.m. Police were called to the scene at 7 p.m. One witness tells police that about 9 p.m. is when Officer Moser parked his vehicle near her house and was positioned with a long gun. The woman, not identified in the document, says she was looking out her front door and made eye contact with Officer Moser. She says, he kind of looked at me like you're supposed to be in your freaking house. Get in your house saying that was about 9 p.m. The witness says she then saw Mosier move to the alley behind a garage. She remembers hearing the shots fired and looking out her window where she saw Mosier fall forward. The witness said that this happened about 9, 9 10 p.m. Just minutes later, she called 911. She said it felt like forever before the Bearcat came to rescue Officer Mosier, but dash cam video from his car shows that Mosier's police car um, with the Bearcat arriving about 15 minutes later. Now to read more of the documents, you can check them out online uh, on, on valleynewslive.com. Mike, Andrew. All right. All right, thanks Ashley. We also learned today that there was firearms training going on in Moorhead that night. Many officers were diverted from training to assist the Fargo incident. Grand Forks, Moorhead, West Fargo Police, along with both Minnesota and North Dakota State Patrols also responded.